aka welcome to map number three between hot and creo for the third time the players are using uh, different colors here and this time in yellow it is hot the ukrainian once again spawning in the bottom uh, left corner altar first for him and altar first for creo who this time in red is spawning in the top right corner um, ancient of war creep for hot uh, for creo as it appears and hot is going for a very quick scout here no ancient of war creep by him so uh, is creo gonna be able to take this game and secure his first place in group b or is hot gonna take it and force creo to put his hopes on the shoulders of humanic and sunshine in their upcoming matches against uh, hot and Ciara on playday number five you know to be honest if i was creo i'd probably rather want to make sure i win this best of three instead of hoping for Ciara and um, hot to lose on play day five so it is priestess of the moon again for hot despite just losing with her but it's going to be a totally different game this time around because of the demon hunter and of course the archers will see early on by creo <clears throat> so yeah the question is going to be how is creo going to react to um, seeing this huntress open which i'm assuming it will be let's see 160 okay maybe not um uh, is this just gonna be a super quick tag like this is so weird by hot okay now he's getting the hunter's hall he's getting the age of war and he's just getting the second age of war immediately as well so yeah, first hunt is going to be out a little bit later, second hunt is going to be out a little bit sooner. Um, just a slight variation from the regular Huntress build. Yeah, two questions. How is Creo going to react and what is Hot going to do here? Is he, go f is he going to go for a very quick finisher in this game? Is he going to go for a big push eventually? Or is he going to just get map control and expand eventually, you know, build a tree of life up here or down here? And then march towards the expansion we'll find out eventually so the demon hunter found the um wind of illusion so interestingly enough here uh blizzard officially released secret valley as part of their map pool in 1.21 but these guys in this best of three at least still used the older uh you know custom made uh, secret valley version 1.1 which has slightly different items etc so yeah, Priestess with Aura first, of course, against the Mana Burning Demon Hunter. <laughs> the Archers is scouting for a ninja expansion here on uh, the uh, natural expansion of Creo. But that's not what's happening. The Wispy is scouting probably at the other obvious expansion location. First two hunts are in production at the moment. Let's see, third Moonwell is not yet being built. Other than that, yeah, not too much happening. Uh, I guess since there are no hunts out on the map, I guess the Demon Hunter could quickly secure himself to level 2. Ancient of War uprooted in front of the base again. Immediately continues Archer production, so he's gonna wanna have a little bit to defend against uh, the uh, pressure that will arise eventually. And Hot is even selling his town portal. So, um, yeah, wants to have as many hunts as soon as possible because he's got both his third moon well and two more hunts in production which he wouldn't have been able to do without uh, selling the town portal no, hunter's no, hall coming right now for creo who's again repositioning the agent of war first hunt of uh, Cre uh, fought cannot really afford chasing the swiss wow this is so risky if the wisp detonates here then this hunt is just gonna be screwed in the meantime a uh, bit of Ah, he doesn't get the detonate. Um, yeah, a bit of hero on hero action in front of Creo's base. So Creo is slowly getting towards tier 2 and hot so far didn't really get anything done. He's still tier 1. He's getting Huntress number, I don't know, 5 and 6, I think. Still no expansion in production. No big push coming for now. So, yeah, eventually... Uh, 
Hot is gonna have to make you know use of the map control he's got right now. I mean he's creeping, he's catching up experience wise, he's gonna get slightly ahead of the demon hunter who is where's the demon hunter? Okay, there's the demon hunter. Just running around searching for an expansion. I guess Creo is confused as well. And what did he find here? Oh, nothing, because in this version there's nothing dropping on the ground. Yeah, again, Creo. Checking for the expansion here. He's getting his first lore up. Um, Range upgrade for the archers coming as well. Another huntress is coming for hot. First attack upgrade is coming for hot. And now finally he's gonna put the pressure onto Creo's main. Four archers are out at the moment without hero support. These aren't really gonna do a lot. Look at the bouncing glaives. Doing tons of damage to the first archer and he's not healing in time. Naga second has been bought. And now he's following this up with the ninja expansion at the right hand side of the map. Which is not scouted at least for the moment by uh, Creo. First two hunts have taken plenty of damage already. Hot Miss Micro in here. He's not getting the first hunt out of this battle and he should not lose any units here at the moment. Especially since the Naga wasn't even slowing that one hunt. Demon Hunter's got the boots but the hunt should still get to the fountain and actually uh, yeah, Hot uh, Creo has to turn around here with the Demon Hunter in order to uh, make sure he survives against the remaining units of uh, Hot, so he cannot chase down this Huntress. And Hot is just gonna wanna keep the pressure up here. Obviously, um, getting a second Agent of Lore up is gonna be hard for Creo because of the way his base is built. There's no space, a lore doesn't fit here and nowhere else, obviously. So Hot is just, yeah, sitting around in front of the main base. Of Creo Mana Burn goes on to, on to the Priestess of the Moon. He's forced back right now. Of course, on the open, he would love to engage in a fight at the moment, but Creo is not going to do him that favor. Tree of Life is about 75% up. And Creo, <coughs> yes, just taking the safest creep camp he can take at the moment, pulling that one back all the way to his base where he can basically fall back to very easily, even using the illusion to make sure that Hot isn't coming in, but Hot isn't coming in, he's just, as mentioned previously, he's now making use of the map control, and he thinks, oh wow, just getting distracted there by the illusion for a second, but now he obviously realized uh, what's up, now the real Demon Hunter is coming in, but the XP goes to the Priestess, and big heal potion, very useful, immediately first Glaive Thrower has joined the yellow army, but actually, with the creeps in his back and with the damage he's taken, this is not a too great of a fight here, for uh, Hot, he's now repositioning his Huntresses, the first archers have already fallen. Uh, first two drides with the army of Creo at the moment, third archer is gonna fall. So despite the bad position uh, Hot, was in, Hot was in with the creeps in his back, with um, you know some of the hunts being hurt already, he was still able to take out the majority of archers here, in return now losing uh, two Huntresses and being able to chase uh, Creo away. So Tree of Life is finished, uh, he's gonna creep this eventually, he's gonna get the uh, Tree of Life set up, I'm pretty sure of that. But is he gonna be able to hold this oh, against a, what appears to be a big, big tier 2 army by um, Creo? Or oh, another hand got sniped out. I stand ready. At the moment it's 44 against 44 supply. So uh, yeah, the start of the fight was looking really good for hot but during the end losing the three hunts there that's quite big and we'll see if he's gonna be able to come back from that because of course with uh, tier 1 against tier 2 he's going to have to outmass his opponent adding some archers right now instead of the glaive throws of course archers also doing fine against the uh, dryads but of course against the demon hunter naga combination if you know there's somewhat Decently level, like a level 3 Demon Hunter is doing so great against Archers. So he's gonna get the Drake here, gonna get towards level 4. Demon Hunter got himself a heal scroll, Staff is already on him, Boots on Anaga. 1-0 attack upgrades on the Archers and Huntresses of Hot. 
no upgrades for uh, Creo yet, not particularly surprising in Scourge Bone Chimes, worst item possible here for uh, Hot, and he's trying to get into a good position, but the Concave seems very, very nice for Creo. Now the Hunter is slowly moving forward, first Archer is going down, uh, first Dryad is about to fall as well, as you can see, the uh, Archers are doing plenty of damage against those, but what a split here by Creo all over the place, he is Creo used pretty nicely by the Demon Hunter, now it's the Priestess which is taking damage, and keep in mind, she sold her Town Portal early on, in the meantime, the majority of Hunts is going down, still plenty of Archers remaining for, um, for hot though so it's gonna be archers and few hunts against dryads and yeah demon hunter naga combination is very very strong at this point you can't just basically focus one unit after another here the illusion is finally going to be taken down the priestess has healed up but it's gonna take her a while to get back to this army the next archer the last archer of Creo has fallen here the hunts uh, the dryads have to be very careful in their positioning because against the archers with i'm assuming ah no he of course doesn't have the range upgrade because he's still tier one um he's gonna have a very hard time to get into a good position but at the same time, Creo is able to snipe out unit after unit after unit here. So both of the players losing the majority of their units. So uh, in a, you know these small skirmishes, the DH Naga combination is definitely going to be superior. And towers are now coming at the expansion, but are they gonna come up? I'm assuming they won't. I'm assuming Creo is not gonna wanna let that happen. Priestess is coming in, of course. She's already on her way to level 5, which is kind of good, but only a priestess is probably not going to be able to fight off this army, he's going for another kill on one more of the archers, first of the edge protectors has been killed, not cancelled here, by uh, hot, <coughs> and every unit that is coming in is being sniped down immediately, uh, dust used here, by Creo, he's getting two more hunts and an archer killed, the next edge protector is going to be cancelled, <laughs> again, not cancelled, again, just taken down. This one is being cancelled at least. And is the priestess stuck here? Yes, she is. And he even has to uproot his tree of life. So no additional gold income for him. Block attempt by the dryad. And is Creo getting it done? The priestess is trying to run away. Demon Hunter needs like one more hit, maybe. No, he doesn't even need to hit the priestess one more time. So she's going down. The expansion is screwed, and Creo is taking the series with two to one. Um, again, hot trusting in the priestess of the moon and for the second time she let him down um yeah i think i mentioned it during the game um he's going for the mass hunts and he's gone for some aggression eventually with the expansion behind it but i think that was way too late because once he started getting aggressive creo basically was on tier 2 already he's he did take very very little damage he had to invest very little in um, securing himself against potential all ins or let's say he invested very little maybe against an actual all in an actual ap push he may have even um, you know gone down but uh, yeah creo invested very little and hot didn't punish it either by a very quick expansion or by an all-in push. So he went for this kind of late expansion with a lot of hunts uh, beforehand and that didn't really pay out. Even when he got the fight in the middle, you know, he didn't get himself into the greatest position with the uh, creeps being in his back. And um, then in that second big fight, he wasn't able uh, to uh, really get a big supply lead already because his expansion was as mentioned so late and um, yeah Creo did some magnificent splitting there traded fairly decently and trading fairly decently is good enough since he had the superior um, hero combination or superior heroes compared to the priest of the moon in these tiny army fights and that's where he took it in the end so uh, Creo taking the series here Creo sitting at 4-0 at the moment in his group and he's definitely going to end up going to the grand final so the first out of eight uh, participants has been determined already and hot is uh, you know going to have to um, secure his spot in uh, the relegation if he reaches that because of course now we're getting to the second best of three 
on this play day in group B, which as I previously mentioned, sadly, I cannot provide for you. And that was um, Sunshine against Humanic. And what a surprise, Sunshine took the series with a two to one. And therefore uh, Humanic still at uh, zero uh, victory since the game against Spell doesn't count anymore. And Sunshine currently at three points as well as uh, hot so both of them still have the chance to uh, make it into the round of um, or into the relegation and uh, circumstances are like this if Ciara wins hot and Ciara advance because uh, Ciara is uh, playing against uh, sunshine if uh, Sunshine wins with 2-0 against Ciara. He's still going to be behind Ciara. So Ciara is going to advance into the relegation and either Hot or Sunshine are, depending on uh, you know whether Hot's going to be able to beat um, Humanic on the final play day. And if Sunshine wins with 2-0, then Sunshine is going to be in front of Ciara, which means Sunshine will advance and... Um, you know, Sierra will advance if Hot loses to Humanic, or um, Hot will advance if Hot beats Humanic. So that's the situation for the upcoming play day in this group. I hope you enjoy it. If you did so, then give a thumbs up and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.